Hi guys, this is Sarah from Just Another Story, and I'm here. Hi. Um, today I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you my bookshelf tour. Um, I have three small bookshelves, so there are my little crates there. Um, and then here is my like taller bookshelf, which isn't very tall. It's three shelves. And then over here, I have another smaller bookshelf that is right next to my bed. Um, that I kind of use as also a night table. So... Because I share a house with a number of people, I don't keep my books, I can't display all of my books and I don't like to keep them out in the main areas because I don't want my housemates to get ideas about my books and how they can use them or <laughs> borrow them out without letting me know. So um, a lot of my books are stored away, um, but these are just the ones that, I guess the most recent and the ones that I did, I'm either rereading, I want to reread or I've read recently or just some of my favorites I guess, or that I need to read also. So I'm going to start really quickly with my little crate. Um, I kind of use it to store stuff on at the top, um, like brownie mix and Nutella. Mm -hmm. um, and just sort of, um, I use the side of this my bookshelf here to put pictures and stuff like greeting cards and things that I get from people. Um, inside, this is sort of my like random shelf. I don't really... This is not organized at all. Most of these are books that I haven't read um, and that I want to read, but I'm not in any rush to get to them. And they don't really have a spot. Most of them are paperback. Actually, all of them are paperback, as you can see. Um, yeah, so that's that shelf here. Um, some of the ones that I would like to read eventually are is Wolfsbane right here by Andrea Kramer. Um, I'd also like to read eventually this one. Um, the Six Rules of Maybe by Deb Coletti. I'd like to read that um, soon as well. And then on the second crate that I have here um, is just sort of like my chiclet that I kind of have an obsession of buying um, and that I usually kind of read in the summer. So this is sort of my summer reads shelf um, that I'm hoping to get to as well. I'm not going to list every single book because when I tried to do that before it took forever. Um, but I probably will on my other two shelves, but not in these shelves. If you have any questions and you want to know what these books are, I just let me know when I can list them before you. So that's this shelf, sort of like, I don't really look at those, my crates very often, um, but I know that they're there. So anyways, this is my main shelf. Um, it's my taller shelf. It comes up pretty high. It is not 5.42, it's only 4 o'clock, or like quarter to 5, because... I just don't change my <laughs> uh, my time very often. But I really love the top of my shelf. Um, I don't know. I just think it's really cute. And I try to keep it as clean and organized as possible. And then I have a picture here of me and my bestie from 2009 when I went to Vancouver to visit her. So, And my, cal my candle from Bath & Body Works that I am obsessed with. And you will see that I am obsessed with candles from Bath & Body Works in just a minute. And this is Frosted Cranberry kind of burns my nose a little bit so I don't burn it very often but anyways so this first shelf that I will show you um I think it's mostly my contemporary shelf yeah there's a few odds and ends in the corner here I have my Narnia the whole Narnia series by C.S. Lewis so all seven books are here um this is a birthday card I got from friends of mine a couple years ago and I really thought it was really pretty so I kind of I didn't want to like just throw it out or store it away so I just kind of taped it on because I thought it was kind of it's just a pretty accent um here I have my two Molina Marchetta books that I own I don't own it's that Jellicoe Road and Saving Francesca I don't own the Piper Sun because I don't like the American cover or the North American cover I think it's horrible um and then some of the my other contemporaries I have the Wolves of Mercy Falls, I have the first three in the Iron Fae, two Sarah Dessens After by Amy E. Faw. this is a really great book, and then Two-Way Street by Lauren Barnhold, because I thought that was hysterical. Um, over here I have my two novels by Stephanie Perkins, Anna and the French Kiss, oh sorry, and Lola and the Boy Next Door, I haven't read Lola, I will, uh, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. If you have not seen my 2012 um, end of the year book survey, you should go and check it out because I basically um, gush about John Green and how wonderful he is and how wonderful this book is. 
um, Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green, and then Looking for Alaska by John Green. So all my John Green books, the three that I own, are right there. Uh, and in this corner, I have my second pair of glasses. I don't know, I just keep them there so I know where they are. I have this card that is hysterical. I got it at a craft show last year. And it says, Ralphie didn't have many friends. And it's kind of like this weird looking guy. I thought it was a really funny card. And I just kind of use it as a decoration. Um, I have a can of Coke. Because I don't really drink Coke. Um, but I have a can of Coke here. I'm not really sure why. I think I got that from my sister because I don't really drink Coke. And then in here, I have my Roald Dahl box set that I got last year for a really amazing price. Um, I love Roald Dahl, like love and so I have um like that box set and up here I have a uh, paperback of Across the Universe I have the UK cover of Pushing the Limits and Daughter of Smoke and Bone the U uh, paperback um this is for a giveaway that I'm going to be having sometime soon um the Across the Universe because you'll see in a minute that I have it in hardcover so that is this shelf the top shelf going down to the middle shelf um, this is mostly my hardbacks. Yeah, all my paperbacks, or hardback I should say. Um, I have a USB and a shot glass from Paris that I got from a friend that I just want to have as a decoration. So I have Across the Universe and A Million Suns. I haven't read A Million Suns. Um, these are the two books from Jay Asher. Um, 13 Reasons Why and The Future of Us. She also, he also wrote that with Carolyn Mac Mackler. Lisa and Poe, just the jacket, because I think if my friend has that or my housemate has that. The Pretty Series by Jenny Han. I have the Lauren Legacy, the first two, the I Am Number Four and The Power of Six. Incarnate, uh, Witchlanders, If I Stay, Witchlanders is by Lena Coakley. If I Stay and Where She Went by Gail Foreman. Forbidden by Tabitha Susuma. These are the four books at the end here I haven't read. Haven, Darkness Becomes Her, Criers Cross, and Jane. Um, but soon, maybe? Maybe not. Probably not. And then I have a bookend I'm using a bottle of wine, just because I thought it looked kind of cool. <laughs> um, here I have a little crystal thing I got from China from a friend of mine. It's got a dragon in it, and I thought that was really cool. And then my sunnies. So down here is my kind of adult shelf. Um, Basically, yes, I have Dan Brown illustrated version of, um, what book is this? Angels and Demons, which I think is really cool because this book is really visual, or he references a lot of visuals, so they're all there, which I think is really awesome. I haven't read this book, but, um, I got it for like five dollars at, on Boxing Day a couple years ago. Um, I have Chopsticks by Jessica Anthony and Rodrigo Corral. Um... Rescue, um, Her Fearful Symmetry by Audrey Neffeniger. I have, what's this? Last Letter from Your Lovers, Lover by Jojo Moyes. The three, I have four books by Jodi Pico here. Um, the Thirteenth Tale. Um, uh, what is this? The Handmaid's Tale. Um, Sisters, this is Chloe. Chloe Does Yale, which is really a funny book. It's so funny. I read this a long time ago. Um, Great Gatsby, uh, The Book Thief, and um, Anne Rice's the Vamp Interview with the Vampire. Then I have a bottle of rum that I use for cooking, and then my journals and diaries and things like that. So that's what's on this shelf. So I'll pan out just so you can see it. So it is a pretty, not a very tall shelf, but there's some a lot of cool things on it, I think. And then my little crates. And then over here... On this shelf, which I kind of use also as my night table, so that's where you'll see like have like hand lotion and Vaseline and tissue um, and my headband. So on this shelf, then my lamp and the book that I'm currently reading, which is *The Arc of Scarlet* by Marissa Mayer. And there is my little Bible that I try to read every night. Sometimes I don't, but I try. And then, okay, so this is where you'll see my addiction to Bath and Body Works candles on the first shelf. I kind of just store them here because I have nowhere else to put them and I have a lot so <laughs> that's basically what's there on this side um, is where I try to organize the books that I want to read soon um, 
Um, so this is kind of like in my next pile. So I have Finnegan of the Rock by Melina Marchetta, uh, Black Heart. This is an arc um, that I want to read, A Violet Season. I've got Sever and I'm going to read that this month. And then Unremembered, um, which is also on my review pile. And then in the back I have another copy of Sever, which I'm going to, uh, Arc of Sever, which I'm going to use for review, or for a giveaway I should say. And then just a few of my um, Black Dagger Brotherhood hardbacks. I don't know where the rest of them are, so I don't know why. I just put those there because they were what I had. Down here on this shelf are, is just my, these are all my adult favorite novels. So um, I have a picture of my brother when he was 18 months. He's now seven, so yeah, I just keep that there because he's wonderful. Okay, so on this shelf down here, I have all of the Megan Hart novels that I own. So she's got kind of, I call them like her three stream of three streams. So she's got the, oh, what are these called? I can't even remember. Order of Solace. That's what these books are. There's four of them. I have all four. I have all of them that she has and I have a feeling that I'm missing one. Um, it might be like stashed away in my closet somewhere, but I feel like I'm not sure. Something's telling me that I'm missing one, but I have all of those. So it's Pleasure and Purpose, No Greater Pleasure, Selfish is the Heart, and Virtue and Vice. Um, I haven't read these two, like uh, Selfish is the Heart and Virtue and Vice, but I've owned them for a long time. I have uh, Precious and Fragile Things by Megan Hart. I also own All Fall Down, but that's just, it's at work. I lent it to a couple work colleagues, um, and so that's where it is. I have all of her spice novels um, that she's written. Um, in, these are in chronological order. So I have Dirty, Broken, Tempted, Deeper, Stranger, Naked, Switch, and Collide. And I also have The Space Between Us. I really liked these covers. I thought they were really fantastic and she's kind of switched them up now. Um, and they've also switched up um, the way that, this is from Mira, so this might be a little bit different, but they're in the same kind of category as this. But, also the covers, so I see them in Walmart now, so it's probably just a rebranding. Um, but I really liked the, like, one word title and the, the way that, like, the covers. I thought the covers were kind of cool. But they're different now. Over here I have Discovery of Witches I haven't read. I have 1984, a hardback, which is a a uh, gift from a friend. The Gargoyle, Gargoyle by Andrew Davidson, which was a fantastic novel. Uh, the um, Time Traveler's Wife by Aunt Audrey Neffenegger, which is great. Uh, Sadie Jones, The Outcast. I have Lolita, which is the French or the French uh, Russian novel that I'm hoping to read this month or this year, not this month. And Lullabies for Little Criminals is here. And then over here, I just have a box and then some like swags and bookmarks and things and these are just paperbacks I'm not going to show you those because they're just whatever if you want to know just let me know and I can list them below so down here I have this bunny that I've been like have had since I was very small and then I have my Harry Potter this is going to be the darkest shelf unfortunately so I have all seven Harry Potter books in hardback um I love them and then I also have Wither and Sever by Lauren DeStefano. I have Unearthly and Hollowed by Cynthia Hand, and I have the Mara Dyer novels, both the Unbecoming and the Evolution of Mara Dyer. And then over here I have a Wrinkle in Time series, the whole box set, and then I have a bottle of Baileys. I like to use um, alcoholic bottles as decoration on my bookshelf. And then I also have the Hunger Games um, box set. So this stuff I'm probably gonna move once I finish up some of these like these two series here like the Chemical Gardens and the Unearthly series are both finishing up so I'm gonna have to move some stuff around once I get those two books. Um, so that is it for my bookshelves. Um, this is really quick because I just I didn't want it to be a super long video but I'll just show you really fast again. So that's my little side table bookshelf. And then over here, my bigger one. Yeah. So those are my bookshelves. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, please leave them below. And yeah, have a great day. Bye.